the notes are going to be A, G, A, G, C, A. A, G, E, D, E. E, A, E, G, C, D. D, C, C, D. E A E G C D D C C A and then up the tempo it would be like chords for this are going to be A minor, E minor 7, and D minor. So here's the A minor, one finger on the, on the G string on the second fret. Here's the E minor, which is the second finger on the C string on the second fret, and the third finger on the G string, I mean on the A string on the second fret. So just these two fingers like that. And then the D minor is second finger on the on the uh, G string on the second fret, third finger on the C string on the second fret, and first finger on the E string on the first fret. Okay. So those are the chords. Here's how they sound all together. One, two, three, four. And you can see the strum I'm doing is going to be down, down, up, up, up. And so in between each verse, we play through the verse melody twice, and then in between each one we'll stop, and then we'll start up again slower, and somebody can do a solo. So we're going to use this tune to learn how to improvise. Improvising is just writing little songs on the go. And you, you have a selection of notes, and we've those are the notes that we went through in the melody and there'll be a couple more every song has a key or a mode that it's in so you so you have that road map of notes that you can use and so then you just put them together in a way that sounds good to you um, so uh, we can just That's improvising. It doesn't sound like much, but uh, you let yourself roll with it.